Look into my eyes. Describe what you see. I can't. I can't because I know I wasn't like the best growing up. Um, to you. Um, and even right now when we were doing the 30 seconds, I was like, I felt that energy from you too. You know, there's like so many things we don't talk about. Yeah. Um, and I see like a lot of pain in you. And a lot of it, like, I cost. So it's just kind of shameful sometimes to look at you because I feel like I did that too, you know? I had some sort of jealousy sometimes because I was like, I always felt like my parents were strict with me and not with you. So I would take it out on you and treat you like crap because I'd be like, why isn't he being, you know, treated like I am by my parents? So I'm going to treat him like crap, you know? Because I felt like my parents were hard on me, but no one was hard on you. So I was like, I'm going to be hard on him because no one else is being hard on him and it's not fair. So in a way, like, I was just jealous, you know, like you used to get away with a lot of things that I felt I would never get away from, away with. So that's why I would put you down. And I feel bad about that because I didn't really understand that I was just, you know, jealous. But I also didn't, I feel even worse because I didn't understand that you we're suffering so much. When I look at you, man, it's, I f see someone that has their shit together, someone that is a positive role model for me, someone that, that whenever I see them go down in some way emotionally, it hurts me because I know that they're a strong person. So if definitely if they're feeling like shit, it must be something serious. I appreciate that you recognize that I feel pain because 100% I've felt pain especially with our family growing up, 100%. Um, you as a brother growing up, you were not the best brother. I know. You were not the best brother. Um, do I feel anger towards you? No, I fucking don't. I could, at this point, I could care less. I don't think about when we were 10, 11 years old. Um, do I wish I had a friend with me and help me with school and, um, you know, help me get A's or just help me do better, man, because y'all saw me struggle so much with school. And I feel like you just kind of left me. Like, I didn't have a friend there for me. Um, and I felt like you just got more of a kick out of seeing me fail and do, me, uh, do bad in school than actually help me. And I felt like I wasn't helped by you. Um, and I feel like through high school, I was going through hard shit. You know, I was, I mean, not necessarily doing drugs, but I was going in the past, path of, uh, of not giving a fuck. I wasn't giving a fuck, but... It wasn't necessarily because I just didn't care about anything. It was because I was in pain. I was, I was hurt by my parents, by my family. Um, I'm not going to say you at the time. Um, I wasn't, but I could have helped you. But I could have used you back then. I could have used you to help me out, get through some shit, and you weren't there. Um, our relationship got better at, right when I got done with high school, but I think it was a little bit too late. But at the same time, it was perfect it was it was I'm just glad that we found each other to be friends um, but it definitely took a long time when do you feel the closest to me when I go to your place and be with your family I think when we have those drinks and now that I'm older um, that I started to like liquor more and you like liquor you like tequila and stuff like that um, now that I started getting older and we can bond over those things, those small little things, you know, drinking wine um, that you got me into, um, enjoying your wedding, but it wasn't a big wedding, it was like super chill. You know, stuff, stuff like little moments like those um, are what fill me in the inside, man. Um, I don't think I'm a big family person. I don't think I'm like family is everything because I feel like family is everything, but it, there's some, um, some, I mean, there's, some reasons to to go a different way from your family. There's um, there's reasons why I don't think family is everything because family can be toxic and family can not always be good for you. Um, but whenever I'm with you and your and your small little family, I feel definitely the closest. When have you seen me the most vulnerable, and what have you learned about our relationship from it? That's that that was, was easy. Um, yeah. I think. Man, it's really sad. It was that one time that, remember the movie theater incident? Yeah. That you guys kind of got jumped 
Yeah. It was and it turned into a fight, but you actually got arrested for it. Yeah. That was fucking crazy because I knew like you were making bad decisions. I knew that like, you know, you were going through a tough time, but from the way that incident sounded, it really sounded like you were just at the wrong place at the wrong time. Oh. And even though like growing up, I was jealous about you getting away with things. I never wanted to like see you end up in prison. And the fact that, you know, it got to the point that my parents were like, should we hire a lawyer? Like, is he going to go to jail? Like what's going on? And it was just, it was just the fucking worst. And I remember, I think you were on all these types of pills for, for your anxiety and your depression and all that. And I just have this really sad memory of, you know, you were drugged up and I was going back to school. I was there for winter break when we lived in the house in San Antonio. And I was going back to, for, to school after winter break. And my mom's like, go say bye to your brother. And I open up the door to your room and you're just like curled up at like 1 p.m. Like all drugged up. And I'm like, hey, man. And you're like, huh. and I'm like, I'm leaving. And you're like, OK, bye. And it was just like, but you were so drugged up and you were going through so many things. Like I can't even imagine like the depression, anxiety, the pills, everything you were feeling to the point that you were just destroyed, you know? Okay. And I could sense that by you just having no life, you know, you were just like a sack. And I was like, I felt really, really bad. Not like pity. I was just like, holy fuck. I can't do anything to help him, but that fucking sucks. And I go back to that because not to pity you, but because to admire where you are now, you know, like I've seen you at your worst and now you're working towards your best. So that's, that's why I, I haven't let that memory go because it's not my fault, but I do admire like how hard you've worked to build from that. If this were to be our last conversation, what's one thing you'd never want me to forget? That I am the person I am today and I will be because of you. That if I ever find, when I find the perfect girlfriend, perfect wife and I have my kids, you're gonna be one of the inspirations as to why I accomplished so much. When I'm a millionaire and we're talking about business and I write a book, it's gonna be, you're gonna be the first person to know that you're the person that was there for me through everything. You're a huge inspiration to me, man. Like, I don't say it a lot because I don't like saying cliche shit, and I don't, but until the day I'm that, you're going to be my main one inspiration, bro. Well, if this were our last conversation, I would want you to know that as much as I appreciate that, you made that happen, and you are capable because of you, and no one else did that shit. And if I died tomorrow, um, and everyone else in our family died, you would still accomplish everything that you want to accomplish because you're the one doing it. You're carrying yourself. Appreciate it. And that. you don't need anybody else. Appreciate that. Thank you, bro. Of course. I'd give you a hug, but I think we're not supposed to because of COVID. Hi, Miriam here, producer and director at The Skin Deep. Thank you so much for watching this video. So if you want to have a similar experience at home, we designed this amazing card games where we take the best of our questions and it's in a box and it's a game that you can ask questions to each other. So if you want to check it out, you can visit our website at theskindeep.com shop.